at a critical turning point in our city, creating real solutions to an ongoing housing problem, not only in the city of Newburgh, but around the nation. Today marks the beginning of a wonderful relationship and collaboration with Repco, bringing new life to our city. They are setting the new standard, and we're happy to be a part of it. With East End Apartments, we're creating 45 new affordable homes for residents and restoring abandoned buildings to their former glory. Also bringing this beautiful new community hub to a city that offers gallery and studio space for artists, meeting space, after school activities. The proximity of this building to institutions like SUNY Orange's Newburgh campus, Mount St. Mary College, as well as St. Luke's Cornwall Hospital, really helps fuel the resurgence of a neighborhood like this. And it's come a long way and two years later we're here to celebrate the opening of 45 new apartments for deserving members of the community and 15 historic buildings that have been brought back to life. This project is very special. We're the equity investor in this project and we raised about $14 million to make this project happen. We've laid a really good foundation with this project and I think Anything is possible in this neighborhood for the people who live here and for the people who don't live here yet. We're super happy about how we've been able to bring together all different partners, Safe Harbors as the property manager, Rupco as the developer, the general contractor did a great job creating local jobs and giving neighborhood people opportunity, and the outcome is outstanding. We're just thrilled that we can be part of the project and bringing 45 families back downtown is a great feeling. It is so exciting to be in a room where the possibilities of what a diverse socioeconomic Newburgh could look like. To be able to have conversations about how development looks in the city of Newburgh, how development without displacement looks. So this was one of the areas that had been neglected completely, very challenging. It's super transformational for our community. We know that there is demand that will probably result in some displacement of low-income residents. And so creating a stock of housing that will serve their needs for the next 50 years is absolutely the right way to go. And the results are, are tremendous to take buildings that were abandoned, serving as blight on this community, repurpose them historically, create this kind of affordable rental housing. It's a good day.